from the campus studios of Saarland University, this is Ropecast, a lighthearted podcast for learners of English, with Roger Charlton and Peter Tisha. Welcome, listeners, to another Ropecast, a podcast about everything to do with English. Hello, Peter. Hello, Roger. You're looking well. Uh, well, I don't know if that's ironic. Uh, I'm, I, I may look well, but I'm not feeling all that well. What happened? I fell down the stairs in my house. Really? Yeah. Yeah, in the middle of the night. Went down just in my stockings and I slipped and I sort of fell on my rib cage. Oh, did you break a rib? Well, I went to the hospital, got myself a taxi because my wife had to stay with the kids. Yeah. And I went to the hospital nearby. Yeah. And they x-rayed me. They couldn't find anything. This was in the middle of the night? Yes. You can just go to the local hospital and... Yeah, yeah. sure. Ah. Oh. What's so strange about that? Well, in Britain, you'd have to make sure there was a big sign A and E. Otherwise, there's no point in going to that hospital. What's that mean, A and E? Accident and emergency. Uh-huh. And not all hospitals have a department like that. So if you have an accident in the middle of the night, you have to tell the taxi driver, get me to an A and E hospital? It doesn't matter whether it's day or night. Any time. Any time? Yeah. So there will be only the accident hospitals that I have to go to. Well, it's not a special hospital, but the hospital has to have a department that deals with accidents and emergencies. Okay. They don't have the facilities to deal with things like broken ribs or what else. And they will just send you on? Yeah, they have to, yeah. They have no way of admitting a person. And could I go to a doctor in Great Britain just directly? If it's during normal working hours, yes. Okay. And and it doesn't have to be an A and E doctor then? Well, no. Any any doctor would probably give you a quick examination and then send you, if necessary, to an <laughs> A and E department. So that would be similar to here. No, yeah. but here basically every hospital is supposed to have some kind of emergency facility. By the way, I was once in the United States and there was an emergency in the family. Yeah. And the hospital was quite willing to accept the patient, uh -huh. but only after seeing a credit card. You mean you sort of have to, it's, it's like borrowing or, or renting a car, you have to really... Yeah, they wanted the credit card before they took any further steps. What if you don't have a credit card? I don't know. You don't know? No. Uh -huh. I'm not an you, American, I just experienced that. Uh, we ought to ask someone if they would just leave you out in the hallway. I hope not. Yeah, well, there might be. <laughs> <laughs> But in Great Britain, I don't have to have my credit card. No, 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 no. I just go there? How do they send me the bill? Or, or do I have to pay in cash? Well, if you're from another EU country that is a member of the European Union, uh -huh. and everything is taken care of, you have your bit of plastic from your health insurance scheme, and that's acceptable in other EU countries. So that's the same. That's what mm. I did at night. I had to oh, yeah. hand over the card. And by the way, an extra 10 euro uh -huh. for emergency. I, I have to pay that extra at the hospital. So are you in pain? Uh, yeah, actually, yes. Especially when I sneeze, it hurts a lot. Uh, yes. Like I said, they didn't find anything, so I guess it's maybe just um, cracked. Cracked. Yeah. So cracked just through. a little. I don't know how you call that. A little hairline fracture. Hairline. So very tiny yeah. fracture. I guess it's that. Right. Uh, Happened to me once uh, cycling. I hit the ground and survived and uh, without injury. Yeah. But the bicycle hit a tree and bounced back at me. Ah. Uh, And the handlebars went right into my ribs. <laughs> ah. So I can sympathize with you. Yeah, and that takes forever, doesn't it? It takes a long time. There's a lot of things that you can do for yourself, just going around in the house and <laughs> going to Or cycling work. like me. Ah, uh, yeah. You know, maybe we should get into the whole vocabulary of injuries and treatment. But not today. No, I think that would take us too long. Yeah, and uh, actually, I, I'd like to lie down now okay. because of all the laughing is <laughs> hurting a little bit. Well, I hope you're feeling better by the next time. Okay, so bye-bye and goodbye, listeners. Bye. You've been listening to Ropecast, brought to you by Saarland University, featuring Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Tune in for the next edifying episode on your podcast dial.